Hey everyone, Jason here from PyQuant News. Today we're going to look at interest rate analytics. And what I mean by that is how the dynamics of the yield curve changes over time. We're going to use principal component analysis to under, understand the latent factors, of which there are four that mainly describe the movements in the interest rate curves. And then we're going to use those latent factors to actually shock the curve. And of course, we're going to do it in Python. So first, we're going to use the OpenBB library to actually download interest rates data. And if you didn't know you could do that, well, now you know. With one simple call, you get a Pandas data frame with interest rates with one month maturity all the way to 30 year maturity in any number of years that you want. Super cool. First thing we need to do is actually get the covariance matrix, which describes the absolute changes between the rates. And then we're gonna do some eigenvalue decomposition. And it sounds fancy, but all we're really doing here is getting the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, which explain the maximum variance and we're going to call the square root here so that we get the so-called volatility from that and then call diagonal on the squared eigenvalues to actually decompose them. From there, we can construct a data frame which describes the four factors as wiggle, flex, twist, and shift. Now, typically you don't call the factors anything because they are latent, but there's been sufficient research to suggest that the first four factors do describe the wiggle, flex, twist, and the shift in the yield curve. So what does this thing look like? We have this cool data frame that for every single maturity, we have each of the factors. And these are in basis points, by the way. So to actually shock the rate curve, you can multiply the factor by a random variable. So we take a random shock between zero and one of the size for our factor, and we multiply that across each one of the maturities, and we have now, we have now shocked the rate curve by those factors. Super cool stuff. This is the kind of stuff that the hardcore quants do in the interest rate interest rate desks. Very simple with Python and just a few lines of code. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.